do a really quick video because after my last video that I put up about the Christmas presents that I was making I had a lot of people commenting on the shellscape shawl that I was making and asking to see the finished product. So I thought I'd just nip on and really quickly show you what it's like now that it's done and also because I know I haven't actually done a me video for a while so that's the other reason so you know that I am still here <laughs> plodding away on things. So the shellscape shawl is a paid pattern on Ravelry by a lady called Lisa Cook and that is also at Lisa's Attic on um, Instagram so I will leave all of her information in the description box but yeah I started the shawl I think on Friday last week and I finished it last night so it is quite literally hot off the hook but I'm just going to hold it up and hopefully you can see exactly what it's like so obviously it's quite tricky to get it all in one shot it is a long rectangular shawl or scarf and it is worked from the bottom up and it, this one has been done using a shapey swirl and this shade is called dandelion munchies so it goes from the beautiful deep yellow all the way through to lemons whites and then a pale grey and at the top it is pretty much black so I think that is a really beautiful combination of colours and as I say it's so long I can't actually get it all <laughs> in shot for you but obviously this can be worn sort of you know obviously as a normal scarf or you can hang it out in the full rectangle and have it like a proper shawl or you know literally whatever you like I'm just going to see whether it's actually long enough to wrap around. It is actually long enough to wrap around as well. I mean, it's quite short at this bit, but obviously if you had a jacket on and had your jacket zipped up, then that would still look really, really nice. So, so yeah, it's, um, as I say, a paid pattern and it is worth every single penny. She also has tons of other shawl patterns, which are equally as beautiful but I really wanted to have a go at a rectangular shawl because all of the other ones I've done so far have been triangular so yeah you can see how much it's hot off the hooks I've not even sewn in my ends nor have I actually blocked this yet so it, the dimensions are probably slightly smaller than what they will be once it's blocked but I really enjoyed making this the pattern once you've purchased it um, you can download it in either US terminology or UK terminology which is a great bonus so quite often with patterns you have the US terms and then the UK terms might be in brackets or something like that and having two separate patterns just makes it really easy you don't have to um, remember which ones are in brackets which ones aren't etc it's great to have the two separate ones and that is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how beautiful it looked now that it is finished. Again, I'm just going to hold it up one more time close to the camera so that you can hopefully see all the little details that are in it. So excuse my non-elegant camera style. So there we go. You can see the beautiful rows of shells and post stitches. It's it's super, I really like it. So that is it for the Shellscape Shawl. As I say, I will leave the link for the pattern on Ravelry in the description box. I will leave Lisa's Instagram link in the description box and also a link to Snufflebean where you can obviously buy your Shapies Worlds which are absolutely perfect for this project. Um, but obviously any yarn will do, but it is um, a recommended yarn as being Shapey's Well. So I hope that you like the shawl and I'm glad I've got this finished. That is my first Christmas present officially ticked off and now I can crack on with some different ones. But I will see you for a normal tutorial very soon. Bye for now.